Hey everyone, welcome to the Farming Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. Welcome to my kitchen down on the farm. We are, it is Monday, and I look like death warmed over <laughs> just because it's Monday. We had a long, busy weekend, and so now this morning I've got to do some filming and get our supper ready so that when it's time all i have to do is stick it in the oven i cook a lot like that because i am at home and able to do that but not always but anyway so today we're gonna make a homemade from scratch but fast version of a spaghetti sauce that can be used for multiple things you can turn it into a pasta bake you can use it for baked ziti i mean it's anything it is the varieties are endless so stay tuned don't go anywhere hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside now let me just say, if you are new, I would love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you're not new, welcome back. I love you all so very much. Okay, I have made on this channel a homemade, from scratch, simmer all day, cook in the pot, flavorful spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce that can be used for multiple things. I usually end up doing meatballs in it. Um, I have also done a quick version of Doctrine Up a Jarred Spaghetti Sauce, which is probably when I make spaghettis my go-to. Usually I make the homemade long version when I'm making meatballs and a big dinner. If we're just having a quick spaghetti, I usually just doctor up a jar of store-bought sauce. Now, today we're actually combining the two well we're not really we're not going to use store-bought sauce but i'm making a fast version of homemade sauce so the first thing i have here is i have a two and a quarter pound of hamburger it's not completely thawed out yet but that's okay because we're going to be uh grinding it up or or browning it up and crumbling it up so i'm just going to go ahead and get it in the pot I also have here uh, an onion and a yellow bell pepper. Um, I didn't have any green, so I used a yellow, and I've chopped those up pretty, pretty good. Um, we're also going to be using some just crushed tomatoes. I love. I'd much rather use crushed than diced. However, I will throw in one small can of diced. I have some tomato paste, some tomato sauce. I don't know how much we're gonna use of this because I won't know till I see it in the pot and get it going. So, the first, and I have seasonings, all kinds of seasonings and some extra stuff we're gonna add in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start browning this and I go ahead and I cook my onion and bell pepper. So let's go over to the stove. Okay, everybody, I put the meat in, and while it's kind of thawing and breaking down a little bit, I thought I would show you some things I've, I've accidentally done, and I found them in the cabinet the other day, and I, so that's what has initiated this meal for tonight. I, I had picked up some diced tomatoes, and I thought I was just getting a jar of diced tomatoes, probably for some kind of taco salad or, or some kind of um, Hispanic-type meal, but I looking now i see that it says basil garlic and oregano which are italian type seasonings um i also got i picked up thinking i was just getting a jar of t regular tomato paste it is basil garlic and oregano tomato paste so 
when you see that you've made mistakes like that, don't get upset. Just realize you can make an Italian meal. Or if you got something with some other kind of flavor, just make it work. It works. And this wouldn't be bad. And I mean, it's not like it's going to make a dish terrible that was like a, a Hispanic meal, a Mexican meal. It just would have some flavors in there that's not normally, that's more, lends itself more towards Italian. Doesn't matter. Just make it work. You can just make it work. Okay, I put the lid on the pot just so the, it, the, the heat would remain in the pot and start to um, thaw that meat that I forgot to lay out this morning. Okay, so I'll bring you back over there as soon as it's ready. Okay, it's slowly breaking down, and that's fine. It's okay because I should. It's my fault. I should have laid it out, but it's no problem. It is breaking down little by little. I just keep flipping it over, taking my food chopper and and mixing it around. But I am going to go ahead while this is cooking, just to help flavor it. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and bell peppers in there with it. A lot of people wait till it's completely cooked. I don't. I think the flavors just meld together even better. So, um, I'm going to flip this over. And I just scrape the stuff that's cooked off. Alright, and I'm going to put the um, lid back on so it can continue to soften and cook down. And I'll bring you back when it's ready for the seasoning. Okay, guys, it's all broke down, and you may be wondering or saying, that's an awful lot of peppers and onions, but remember, this is going to be fast, so we need to get as much flavor in here as we possibly can, and that's why I'm going to use, I'm going to use minced garlic and some garlic powder in here, so I'm going to go grab that and grab the seasonings. We'll be back, and we're going to start seasoning this meat up before we even add the tomatoes into it. Okay, guys, I'm going in with two pretty good tablespoons of minced garlic. And we're going to go in with some, probably a couple of tablespoons of Italian seasoning, but I'm just going to shake it in here. The meat's not quite done, but that's okay, because by, by doing it early, we're getting these flavors in with that meat. And I'm not, this is 85-25, so I'm probably not going to drain it any so and you can always add more Italian seasoning um, when we get the tomatoes in okay so to this I'm going to add some seasoning salt you can use regular salt or whatever but I'm just going to use a little bit of seasoning salt all right And I'm going to add, even though I did the minced garlic, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Remember, we're needing to get this packed with flavor fast because it's not going to have all day to cook down and get all good and delicious. So it's going to get delicious because we're going to add a little extra flavor to it. Now, let me tell you something I would add right now if I had it. Um, so maybe you have it and you can add it. Is some beef broth or beef bouillon or something just to enhance that beef flavor. This is also a good way to, um, you have control of what's going in here. I started to add a Lipton onion soup mix to it, but I saw that it had extra sugar. Well, it wasn't Lipton brand, it was an off brand, but it was that soup mix. And it had sugar in it. And I wasn't sure how much sugar. So, um, I, I left it out. Because I want to know how much of everything I'm putting in here. So, okay. The meat is just, I think it is perfectly cooked. So, I'm going to go ahead and, um, actually I'm going to let it cook down a little bit longer. If you have, if you don't have time, it's fine. Just add your tomatoes now. But I'm going to let it get just a little bit crispy because that's going to add even more flavor. So I'm going to let this cook down just a little bit more. 
Okay, you can see that all the liquid has cooked out of this. Um, and some around the bottom is getting a little good and crusty tidbit. So I'm going to go ahead and add in tomatoes. I'm going to add in a crushed tomato. I'm going to add in a diced tomato. And I'm going to rinse this one out with some water. Want to be sure to get all that tomato goodness out. Okay, so I'm going to give it a stir. more crushed tomatoes. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go all in with that second jar. of water in that can not much just enough to clean it out good okay now let me grab the tomato paste I don't think I'm going to use the tomato sauce I'm going to add good healthy to about half the can, half of one of those small cans of tomato paste. Now, once this comes to heat, comes back up to a heat, you know, to a boil or to a, a good simmer anyway, um, now's when you want to taste it. Um, I like putting a little bit of sugar in mine. Now, I don't add it for acid reasons or anything like that. I add it just to, I don't want it to be sweet, but I just want it to have a slightly more mellow type um, flavor. So, um, and y'all know I'm watching my carbs. So, at that point, you would add just regular sugar if that's what you wanted, or even brown sugar. I think the molasses would deepen this flavor. But anyway, um, I'm going to be adding a um, approved sugar substitute. So mine's going to have um, probably monk fruit in it. But I'm going to let this come to heat. I'm going to see what else it needs. If it needs more salt, does it need some black pepper? I haven't added any black pepper at this point. Uh, it may need some more... Italian seasoning. It may need some more garlic. So once it comes to heat, give it a good taste and see what it needs. All right, guys, we'll be back in just a little bit. Look how beautiful this is looking. I should have used my Dutch oven to make this in and use this to cook my noodles in, but that's okay. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, everyone, I tasted it, and I did add a little bit more of everything. I added some more salt. I added some more garlic powder. I added some more, uh, lots more Italian seasoning. And I think now I'm going to add a good pinch of black pepper. So now, guys, this is ready. This is ready to be used. If you have time to let it sit and simmer and just, then the longer you have to let it sit, the better. But this is ready to be used right now. I'm going to show you two more things to add to it 
just to richen and deepen the flavor and just enhance it just a little bit more. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but add in some grated Parmesan. <clears throat> I'll save some so everybody can put it on the top as well. But that just gives, oh my goodness, you will have no idea what this, and if you had fresh Parmesan, add fresh to that, it doesn't matter. But this just does something, something to this dish, okay? Again, if you have this other ingredient to add, then it's a good thing to add. Heavy cream going to add in about a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. And that just gives it a rich, creamy deliciousness. So good. So good, y'all. Okay. All right. So as long as you can let this sit, let it sit. If you don't have the heavy cream or the Parmesan, don't worry about it. It was delicious before I added that. Okay, so as long as you can let it sit, let it sit. If not, it's ready to use. I'll bring you back in just a little while to show you how I'm going to use this up and how we're going to, or what we're going to have for supper tonight. Okay, y'all, this is the pot I said I should have done the sauce in and did the noodles in my sauce pot. But anyway, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I just wasn't thinking this morning. So, okay, I've got some water here. I'm going to fix to salt it good once it gets to boiling. And uh, I'm going to, I have, I measured it out because it was a much bigger box than um, a pound. And it, there's about 17 to 18 ounces here, a little over a pound of noodles. And I have some extra sauce, so I think that's going to be okay. So I'm gonna boil these macaroni noodles. I'm just doing regular macaroni noodles. Um, so I'll bring you back in just a little bit. All right, while we're waiting for the water to come to boil for the noodles, I am gonna scoop me out a little bit of this sauce because I don't eat the noodles because of um, watching my weight. So I'm gonna just dip me out. That's plenty, that's more than plenty. That'll feed me several days probably. Uh, I'll show you what kind of noodles I use. Let me grab them real quick and I'll show them to you. Okay, so I have tried tons of different types of noodles or carb-free noodles or zoodles or whatever. Um, spaghetti squash, I've tried them all. I like spaghetti squash. It's just a little crunchy for me. And I, this is what I like better than anything. It's the palmini. Um, I do like the angel hair better than the linguine. But here's how you fix it. You drain it really good and rinse it. Rinse it really good and then put it in a pan with some butter and some garlic powder and heat it up and kind of cook it just a little bit and then put your sauce on top. Um, but this, this has been the best low carb option. There are two net carbs in a serving of this, and this is three servings and I'll never eat this whole can tonight. So um, very low carb. Um, it's four total carbs, two net carbs. So yeah, and only 20 calories. So this is what I use. Okay, I think my water's ready to pour the pasta in, so I'll see you once it's done. Okay, everyone, I have drained the noodles and poured them right back in the pot I cooked them in. I would normally pour the pasta over into the sauce and mix it up. I'm not sure I haven't made too much sauce, and so if I have extra sauce, I wanna save it. So, um, I'm going to actually pour the sauce in on the noodles and mix it up that way. All right. Splatter, splatter, and it's hot. Woo! 
All right, now we're gonna stir that up and see. That actually looks like a perfect amount, I think. Let me, um, I'm gonna ladle in some more. Actually, I believe we're gonna be good to go in with all of it. Let me just go in with all of it. I have made a mess over here for no reason. Woo, what a mess. Yeah. I believe that's good and I believe I might can get um, more than one 9 by 13 because we're going to pour this in a 9 by 13 top it with cheese cheddar and mozzarella and then bake it in the oven all right so I'm going to go ahead and spray I'm going to spray my first pan and we may get two pans out of this I think the boys, Judah and Levi, if you're new here, Judah and Levi are my grandchildren. Um, Judah is four and Levi is almost two. So I'm making a mess twice. How about that mess? All right. This, Bryant came in, oh no, you know what? He wanted mushrooms added in and I did not do it. So I'm gonna add it in this other half and that can be his half. <laughs> he gets a whole half. And I, we just found a can of mushrooms, nothing fancy. So, all right, I'm gonna mix these in, pour them in a pot of bacon dish and we'll be right back. Okay, so probably some of you were thinking in the middle of um, my fixing the dish, was thinking, you know, you're a country girl. Why are you not using home canned tomatoes? And I have home canned tomatoes right here. Um, but I'm down to my last, my last jar. And do you know how I love to eat home canned tomatoes? It's pretty sad. I don't put them in dishes and spaghetti sauces or anything like that. I pour them in a cup, salt them really well, get out the soda crackers or saltine crackers and drink them out of the cup, eat some crackers. Drink them out of a cup, eat some crackers. That is my favorite way to eat home canned tomatoes. So it's my last can and I'm not using it in spaghetti sauce. So anyway, Okay, so the pasta is ready, all but putting the cheese on and getting it ready to go in the oven. So I will bring you back once everything is done, once for the taste test. All I'm going to do is top it, top the top with um, half cheddar cheese and half mozzarella mixed together. And uh, it's going to be so good. Oh, it's going to be so good. The boys are going to love it. They, everybody's going to love it. Caroline does not like spaghetti, but she it's the noodles that she's not a fan of. So, um, it's going to be so good. And Bryant has a whole pan all for himself that has mushrooms in it. <laughs> so, okay, we'll be back for the taste test in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Oh, and please don't go anywhere. I have some things to tell you at the end. All right, everybody, here they are out of the oven. So, all we have left to wait for now is the taste test. Hey everybody! Look who's here for the taste test! Imagine that! This fast and easy sauce, but yeah. homemade. Fast, easy sauce, homemade. Now, what's, yep. this, what's this called? Mac and sauce. Mac and sauce. <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> I can tell you, it smells delicious already. He's already tasted the sauce before it was mixed in. That's right. Here we go. Cheese and all.
Very rich, very flavorful. Papa. Really, really, really good. Levi saying, Papa. I'm feeling like I'm Italian. <laughs> all right, but, well, he's got a, that whole small pan is all yours because it right. has mushrooms. The other ones don't have mushrooms. This right here is delicious. This is a, <laughs> is it quick and easy? Very easy. Quick, easy, good supper. How long did it take you? Well, I, then that's what the point of this video was, to show you how to make a homemade, flavorful spaghetti sauce that you don't have to simmer all day long. Yeah. I have one of those. I have the jar spaghetti sauce, but this is homemade, but flavorful and fast. And that's money right there. And ignore the stain on my shirt. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. We've got garlic bread, we've got salad, and two pans of um, I've, I've got this garlic dish. Bread. I've got garlic bread. He's got garlic bread. There's Judabug. You want to say hello? Do me, buddy. Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. <laughs> All right, guys. So, thank you. We'll see you again on Thursday. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.